while. Um, I just realized that I forgot to share my final update from Florida. I went in August, um, so early August, and they had confirmed that not only am I still Lyme free, I also no longer had any mold in my body, which was amazing and such a huge relief. Um, I do still have Epstein bar, which they were able to uncover since all of the other stuff had gone away. So I did t test positive for that, but you know, that one's easy to kind of get rid of in the grand scheme of things. I've been doing the monastery herbs, which are just six pills that I'll take with my food once a day. So I've been doing that and I'll do two rounds of that and then um, go back in February for my other six or my next six months checkup. And hopefully the Epstein bar will be gone then. Um, I've also been continuing to do the ozone, the blood ozone treatments um, where they, it's like the MAH1 where they take the blood out and clean it and then put it back and it's all in the one IV. So my veins are still problematic with that. So that's been kind of a pain, but you know, at this point we're used to it. Um, and then Norma and I have a good routine down. So we are trying to figure out um, why my veins seem to be shrinking or as I like to say, I don't have any blood left in my body, but um, just being able to do that once a month at this point is such a huge relief and I'm doing that still because if um, I ever do get bit again by a mosquito or a tick that has Lyme, I do run the risk of getting it again. So um, just being doing that and then hopefully in February we'll talk more about if that's going to continue to be a once a month thing or if it's going to be like every other month or what that's going to look like. Um, you may have noticed that this background is a little bit different and that is because I moved. So um, I still live in Texas and not that far from my parents so I'm still really close if I need anything. Um, Part of the reason why I was so nervous about testing positive for mold again back in August was because when I mold tested this apartment, it tested positive for five out of seven of the most toxic molds. Um, I, yeah, I think that's what it was, five out of seven. And so I was really nervous that my immune system wasn't as good still and that I was going to hold on to all of that. But... I've been taking these prescription binders um, that have, I think, worked really, really well. Um, and then we also did mold remediation in my apartment. And so the guy that came kind of just like smoked the place out, which is really good in the sense that nor um, the other type of mold remediation, you have to go and get all of your belongings dry cleaned. And so because he ended up smoking out the apartment in a sense. Um, I didn't have to do any of that. Everything was already being cleaned in that process. So I retested three weeks after that and there is no more mold in the apartment. My complex has been really wonderful and working with me um, since I've been sick and have all these doctor's notes and tests and everything. And so they, um, were really nice and understanding about needing the mold remediation and then also they come and change my air filters once a month um, just because where I live has so much mold just outside um, even though the insides clean up, clear of mold um, there's just mold in the air um, and like the allergens and everything out there so cleaning the air or replacing the air filters once a month has also been a huge help with that. Um, I also wanted to share, so I got a, if you remember the pick lines where I had one here and then one here. And so I got this tattoo to kind of remind myself that I can do hard things. Um, and then also 
like the sunset and the wave and then the star is just a huge reminder for me of everything that I was able to overcome with being sick and um so now instead of one million pills a day I take um probably 15 which isn't bad in the grand scheme of things and then do three injections weekly um I just do those at home so it's not too bad but I'll probably continue to do those for a while and just to make up make sure everything's good and healthy and the way that it should be um, my latest blood work came back and she had no recommendations no changes to anything which is really nice because if you know every time I was getting blood results back I always had to take another supplement or do something else do another injection do another treatment and so it was a huge relief to get back no notes um and yeah so I've just been really contemplating the last couple months of where where I was what I did um and where I am now and it's totally different I have a different perspective on life I'm going out more um like out to dinner with friends I'm getting involved with the Ronald McDonald house and just trying to take advantage of not wanting to lay in bed all day um I've been traveling a lot and that's just it's been really fun to kind of get my life back and um I've lost 32 pounds since this whole thing started which is amazing I didn't think that was gonna happen either and one last thing I wanted to share um my blood itself um has cleaned up tremendously and so we did the comparison last time I was in Florida and looked at the the blood from when I first got there to when I was just there in August and it looks like a completely different person so not only does do things look healthy on the outside they're healthy on the inside too and I'm just so thankful for you all for following along this journey with me um and just so incredibly thank thankful that god used or did a miracle on me and now that i have my life back um and so i just continue to pray for everybody who is suffering with lime or mold and doesn't know it um praying that they help or get the answers that they need and um yeah, I just am so, so incredibly thank thankful and just wanted to give you guys this one last update and hopefully this is the last time that you'll be hearing from me about this topic for right now. Um, and yeah, I go back in February and I think I just do that every six months until they say otherwise. So we'll chat later. Thank you.